Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to connect to MySQL or MariaDB by using Heidi SQL. In previous video, we learned how to download and install Heidi SQL. That's a graphical user interface. That uh, tool can be used to query MariaDB or MySQL databases. Okay, so what I have here, I have a Windows server. Uh, that's where we have installed Heidi SQL, but our MariaDB or MySQL will be installed on a Linux box. So first of all, let me connect you to the or show you uh, where exactly our uh, Linux uh, box is and uh, how Maria Division is installed. Uh, the name of the host is uh, Tech Brothers IT Node One. Okay, and uh, we are connecting to this uh, node by uh, on port uh, 22 by using Putty. Provide the password and username. So my username is uh, Azad and I'm going to provide the password. Now we are connected with the Linux. Uh, let me make this one a little bit uh, bigger so at least you can see. Save changes. All right, here appearance. Change 16 bold. Okay, now you should be all good and you should be able to see that. Uh, that's where our uh, MariaDB is installed. If I would like to see the status, uh, I can use the sudo system ctl status uh, mysql. It will show me the status of uh, MariaDB or MySQL if that is, is installed. So we can see right here uh, it is active and running. That's good. Now we will connect to the MariaDB or MySQL, whatever you have installed. And then what we need to do first, we need to create our user that uh, Heidi SQL can use from Windows machine and access uh, uh, that um, uh, MariaDB or MySQL. Okay, so let's connect to the root and uh, my password and we can see that we have a MariaDB installed first of all I'm gonna go ahead and say create user so username will be let's say we call it uh, uh, remote and then uh, you need to provide uh, from which IP it is going to connect uh, that means uh, if we have installed a high SQL on Windows machine we need to provide the IP of uh, that machine in my case uh, if uh, I don't care uh, this user can uh, log in uh, a remote user can log in from any IP so then I have to put just a percentage here but if I really want to restrict uh, this user only connect from uh, this Windows machine where I have installed Heidi SQL I need to put the IP here how I do that first of all I will go to the Windows machine and I will go to the command line and here I can run uh, IP config and you can see that the IP of the machine is a 10.0.0.5. That's uh, uh, I can go ahead and I put it here. If I want to restrict, but if I would like to put uh, connect from anywhere, then I don't have to do it. But in this case, now the remote user will be only able to connect from Windows machine whose IP is the 10.0.0.5. Okay, with the way we are going to go ahead and say identified by password so let's provide the password we are going to go ahead and say dba123 that's our password okay the user is created the next part is that we have to provide the permission so what we will do we'll say grant all uh, on asterisk dot asterisk you can limit the permissions in my case i'm going to use this remote user as a dba so i'm providing all the permissions so grant all everything on asterisk dot asterisk on each and every database whatever we have on to who to this user so just copy this user paste it here okay we are all good here so this is the part where you have to do on MariaDB or MySQL create a user that you your Heidi SQL will be using to connect to the MariaDB from your Windows machine all right let's go to the Heidi SQL now and uh, here you will be providing the host name or IP in my case I'm gonna go with the host name I can if I want to uh, I can exit from here and take the whole IP uh, so if you will say if config in Linux is gonna give you the IP so in my case is 10.0.0.4 that's the IP of my Linux box where MariaDB is installed so you have option provide the host name or you can provide the IP I'm gonna go with the host name here you have different type of uh, 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 network type so that you can select uh, so in my case is gonna be MySQL TCIP okay so our username is remote that we have created and we have to provide the password One, two three and now you can uh, 
simply here uh, as it was created first uh, I can delete this one and create a new one actually so when you don't have it you have to go to new and then you create the one so let me see I just wanna make sure you always start from zero so you have no clue like it. there was no connection here or no session name here when you started and now we will provide the password good the port is uh, 3306 that's correct and then we'll hit save okay now save you can right click here and also go ahead and rename it as the my node name is the node 1 so I'm gonna just call it node 1 you can provide the complete name if you like so it's a good idea provide tech brothers IT node 1 good so now you can uh, save it is already saved hit open and uh, you will be connected to your MariaDB or MySQL server uh, and you can see the databases right here so these all databases are coming from our uh, MariaDB so if I will go back and connect to the command line here on the Linux box itself I will see these the same databases tech brother IT and uh, other uh, MySQL performance scheme and all that these are system databases but here you notice that we are seeing the things in uh, let me connect so at least uh, you will see the both things side by side wrong password because okay another time wrong password okay now this time it should be good so if I say show databases I'm gonna see the same databases so I'm connecting through the uh, command line here to the MariaDB and showing you the information but Heidi SQL is much better because it's a graphical tool where you can query where you can uh, see the databases where you can see even uh, tables and uh, all those different features are available uh, in next videos we are going to explore all those different features uh, how you write select query create a table um, also like a seed indexes um, different uh, features of uh, Heidi SQL I will explain in the uh, next videos um, thanks very much uh, for watching this video I hope this will help